Hello there. So four, three, two days ago, somewhere in that bracket, I posted a short asking if you'd prefer my footage to be stabilized when we're looking at the city and for instance today the Minecraft display or whether you just prefer the raw footage. That post is still up on the community tab. You don't have to head to the short, you can go straight to the community tab to vote and i think i'll give it a few more days before i take it as the final answer but today we will be stabilizing the footage just really so we can see what it will be like because i've only done that clip that was in the show and i think it's definitely got a lot of potential with how shaky my hands are it just looks so much better quality even though it's sort of zoomed and it's really just cropped it so that it appears less shaky but we will be using that today and my next city update which i don't know if i'll get to work on tomorrow i have to see how much i saw after arranging the minecraft display but hopefully it will be soon whenever we get around to tackling the next city update i'll probably stabilize that too and based on the reception from this video and that video will be whether I stabilize it going forward so be sure to stick around for that do smash the subscribe button very 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 gently you don't want to break it much like your lego bricks speaking of yesterday we did do another 10 illegal builds the first one did so well so be sure to head over to that and if you do enjoy any of my videos be sure to drop a like so I know which content you would like more of I appreciate all the likes and all the subscribers as of recent do subscribe so we can hear i think it was a thousand by may is the ultimate goal so let's go for a thousand by may i have no idea when i'm going to get a spike in subscribers i think i said yesterday by the time i post a video for all i know we could have hit it by some miracle and i'm saying let's hit it so let's go for a thousand by may that will now be the goal that is in my focus in my field of view but anyway let's go over to the minecraft display and have a look what needs to be done so here is the mess that is currently the lego minecraft display i say a mess because it's just not really organized over to the left we definitely have an underwater theme and you can see a few themes across the display now i definitely want to keep it roughly how it is you can see we've got the new sets in the middle but i definitely want an underwater scene to the left then we continue with a sort of woody ground just to the right of it which is where the fox is then perhaps behind them we could get some tall spruce trees which would look great with the background and sort of hide all the space over here you can see we've already got a sheep pen that's likely going to be staying where it is but we've got a chicken coop to add next to it. The pandas need a home. Perhaps they can go over to the left because I think the bamboo could look quite good next to the really tall trees just to fill in some of that empty space at the back. Right at the sort of foreground, I definitely want an underwater scene, which means we're going to have to build up the surrounding area, perhaps lead it up to a beach. Then we can blend that into the forest and have all the trees sort of coming back behind the beach and just again trying to fill in that back space next to it we'll have a pillager outpost which i think would look really cool just the front side of it not too deep just to house some pillagers on the top and perhaps have a few of them coming towards steve's house perhaps a little village at the front a little army coming and then some oak and some dark oak, perhaps even birch trees on the right. Again, we want some really tall trees, which is why I'm leaning towards the dark oak. A little village in the front, perhaps I can take my villager house that I created with the diorama. Whack that there, a few pillagers storming towards the village. And just make a nice scene out the front. We can definitely have a load of flowers and a flower field there with all the flowers I've already got on the base plate. And... Perhaps in the middle bit we'll have the fox on a hill, some sort of river perhaps even flowing through it leading towards the underwater scene and then we can have a nice mine shaft or some sort of mine at the front with the dripstone in it and just all the other mine elements that we have and the chicken coops definitely going to be there so we could probably even keep the pandas to the right and i'm going to move this poly bag over this is the poly bag from january of this year 2024 so the panda's now got an extra child to look after and we've even got the wandering villager to add but as you can see towards the front we have the camel from the brand new set for this year 
and even to the right of that we've got the poly bag from last year and as you can see there are a ton of other mobs that we've got to house there's a moose room in there next to the two walls i guess we're going to need some sort of little moose room island perhaps we can include that just to the left of the underwater scene which would look pretty funny it's on its own island the sheep are lovely where they are but we've got the bees to the left that we need to house a few scarecrows back there the fish are fine in the underwater phase the axolotls we've also got a whack in i mean this is from last year's poly bag which was the 2023 january poly bag we do have the 24 one in the pandas and i was going to do a video comparing the two but i think i'll just sum it up now it doesn't deserve a video obviously the dripstone cave has a few more pieces rather than just the bamboo shoot though in saying that it did come with a panda that is a few pieces the axolotl is just a custom mold with a one by one plate with the head printed on the side which i do really like we've got the orange one the pink one the blue one and the lighter blue one i guess which does complete all four axolotls that lego have released so far plenty of drowned to go with them as well we are definitely not short on them i would like a few zombies instead of drowned in a few sets but we can Bring the axolotl house down to the underwater layer, have the axolotl swimming around them, and that will push up the beach. Perhaps that's even given us room for the new turtle set on top, which would be absolutely amazing to get. Of course, we love animals. That's mainly why I picked up this set with the camel, and if we can get another animal house in there with the baby turtles and the big turtle even, a few of the new bamboo elements, that would be really cool. We are a big fan of animals, and especially the Minecraft theme, all the custom prints for the Minecraft animals. So a lot of magazines include them. The Enderman we got from a magazine. And they're really the magazines we go for. But we will have to put this tent here from the new 2024 sets somewhere. And just try and make a house for all the different animals. Now we won't be working on the Minecraft one completely like all the time from now because i do want to pop next door do a bit more with the lego city we've got the tower to build on the left if you haven't seen my recent update we've just added all the cars and minifigures to the city which has populated it made it pop a little bit better we still need to fill the lego store and see life of course the tower will be worked on soon and once we do that i might add all the minifigures back into the lego store but i guess we'll have to wait and find out because there's a lot to be done here hopefully we can get it done sooner rather than later but again it depends on what other minecraft sets they put out because if there's any good ones like the axel little house or as i've said the turtle one looks really cool we'll have to work them into our build as we go so hopefully i can put together some sort of concept image you probably saw it in the thumbnail before you clicked on this video but i'm so excited to be working on this minecraft display and hopefully we can bring it together as i say sooner rather than later because i really can't wait to see all this sort of put together in one adjacent scene i'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing with all the nether mobs and we'll have to create some sort of scene for the nether perhaps under one of the mountains at the back we can have a little nether biome and that can be revealed by lifting up the side of the mountain or perhaps we'll build a little window into it i think we're just going to find out as we go on so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on the journey and may the bricks be with you always